very much to 006. You're back for part 25 of Pokemon Ash Grey. Last time I got mildly pissed off by Charmeleon deciding to be completely uncooperative. He didn't evolve quite when I wanted him to. I wanted him to evolve during the Aerodactyl fight. That would have been awesome. That would have got me my Charizard at the perfect opportunity. But no, you had to go and be a little bitch. You had to go and be completely uncooperative. And uh, yeah, falling asleep, loafing around, doing sod all, other than actually fighting the, to the giant prehistoric Pokemon in front of you. Yeah, I had to go outside and um, level him up in Grand Park Canyon. But uh, yeah, we do indeed now have, um, now indeed do have a Charizard. You're asleep, you can stay asleep until I next get to a Pokemon Center, which might actually be coming up. Well, not the Pokemon Center, but yeah, uh, but um, going to a hospital um, in very soon. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll get a chance to heal up there. If not, then yeah, you can just stay asleep uh, for as long as you like, because um, yeah, you're kind of irritating. And I also collected the um, the egg. I called it a Togepi egg, um, <laughs> which is which is uh, well, necessarily to say it was it is a will have a Togepi in it. I'm assuming, but um, yeah, not not a Togepi egg per se. But uh, oh well. And um, yeah, anyway, that was last episode. And uh, yeah, we kind of stepped into a little bit. Unfortunately, the beginning of the, ne the beginning of the next episode, which will be a chance the operation um, before I level up Charizard because I got this far and I was told that Pikachu was not feeling too well. Although, funnily enough, I went back to. Uh, Grandpa Canyon, and was able to battle just fine with Pikachu. So um, yeah, clearly he's not that in, he's not in that in as much distress. But um, yeah, anyway, public hospital. Let's go meet Doctor Proctor. I think it is. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can um, get that giant apple that's stuck in uh, Pikachu's throat out. Sick as a growlith. <laughs> okay, I am going to nick whatever that is behind you. Okay, nothing I'm particularly going to be using, but oh well. Yes, it's a Pokemon Hospital. Uh, sorry, it's a hospital for people, so... Um, oh, there's, there's no... Okay, well, I hope there's not a Pokemon Center mar absolutely nowhere near here, because I really need to do some uh, healing for Pikachu, unless you're going to unless you're gonna actually um, do the trick. Oh, you called it a berry, have you rather an apple? Okay, fine. Oh, and I get the leper berry that Pikachu choked on. Okay. Fine. <laughs> well, yeah, alright, fine. Um, are, are, are Team Rocket going to come in and uh, do something? No. Okay. And all you've done, let's just have a look. Uh, all we've done to Pikachu is just get the apple out of his throat. Okay, so well, that's that one episode of the anime um, uh, out of the way uh, incredibly quickly. Yeah, that was that was a chancy operation, um, people. Yeah, that's that one done and dusted. And um, yeah, unfortunately, didn't actually uh, heal um, Pikachu. So uh, yeah, anyway, we're going on to the next episode. Holy matrimony! What is this? Okay, fine. A morning howling of a mournful howling of a Pokemon be heard from within. That is going to be Growlithe. That is going to be James's Growlithe. This episode was all about Team Rocket's James and uh, getting away from his uh, parents' arra uh, his, his arranged marriage to Jessalia, I think it is, um, that his parents set up. So, uh, yeah, this was a really good episode, actually, and I, I like the focus on, the, on, on James in this episode. See the boy in the missing post. Jolly Good Eureka. Okay. James's parents have passed away. In order for him to acquire this estate, he must marry the... F the... F the finessy. The finessy they have chosen for him. Please step into the estate at once. Okay. So it's like Wait, what? Yeah, I've just done all that. Oh, what? Uh, okay, that seems really bizarre. Anyway, yeah, I was expect so expecting. That is really, really, really creepy. <laughs> right there. Oh, I wanted to go upstairs first of all before that happened. Oh well, mate, I don't know if I'm going to get, to get the chance to search around in here, but oh well, yeah. No, of course his parents are not actually dead then. Uh, yeah, here are Jesse and James. Yeah, they're not actually dead. And they're now going to, um, yeah, what, put him in the basement so he can... Have to have to marry Jessalia? Oh, I do get to explore the rest of the house anyway now. Oh, okay, that's nice. Yeah, I guess it's, I guess I should at least introduce myself before I go around nicking your stuff. Oh, it's more items that I'm not going to use. <laughs> Anything else on this side? On this side? Nope. Ooh, 
something up in the top left corner. Well, I might end up using that, who knows. <laughs> oh, they're all, um, okay, they're all there in the, in the middle. Let's go over to the right-hand side and see if there's anything else I can nick. Yes, there is something else I can nick. And there's something else I'm not going to use. Fantastic. Well, there's something I can maybe sell, if nothing else. We're being on the side of um, Team Rocket here. <laughs> Against his, uh, his really, really messed up family. <laughs> oh, Jesse Bell, not Jesse. Jesse, oh my goodness me. Jesse Lear is, uh, yeah, uh, an alias Jesse used in um, either Pokemon contests or Pokemon performing. Yeah, not Jessalia, Jessie Bell. Dear me. Well, at least I've managed to, at least, at least the game corrected me quickly on that, because that would have been, been terrible. Yeah, not Jessalia. That was an alias Jesse from Team Rocket had. Jessie Bell, yes. Okay. Um, do we get to do anything here, or are we just... Uh, do we get to help James out, maybe? I don't know. Make you face this way because why not? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I get to battle you, okay. Well, you have a gloom, do you not? No, you have a vile gloom. Not the best matchup for Pikachu, admittedly. I can always get Pidgeotto out if it looks like I'm in desperate trouble. I don't think I meant to do that. <laughs> Geek. Oh, critical as well. Nice. Fantastic. Yay, we will get Pidgeotto out here. Of course, Charizard would be nice. Charizard, I'm sure, will be able to make short work of uh, Varplum, but, um, yeah, no. Good. Why couldn't you have just... Why couldn't you have done that to, uh... To, to peek to Pikachu and missed, of course, yeah, but, uh, yeah, dear me. Oh, I got my, crown, my own critical hit back at you. Ha, take that. Ooh, nice uh, experience of all this all there. What a revolting development. Okay. I possibly wanted to speak to, to especially James, but maybe Jesse before that all happened, but, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's now the end of all that, but um, oh well. If it is, then fair enough. I don't know what's. Uh, I need to get. I need to get to a Pokemon Center or, or Nurse Joy or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm being. Okay, now there is still more. Okay, and uh, yep, James's uh, Growlithe comes out and. Uh... Right. Okay. Well, that all happened as in a, in a weird kind of cutscene, and that looks like it's the end of things. And now I'm being kicked off this state. Okay. Fine. Wonderful. Well, let's not progress uh, any further at the moment because I need to go heal. Pikachu is in a critical state and I need to get him back um, Yeah, to some some summers of health. So you have to bear with me for a little bit. There's a bit of backtracking here through Grandpa Canyon. As long as I can get... Oh, I wanted to do one thing as well, didn't I? I, I completely forgot. Well, I'm not going to do that now. I'll... Um, Maybe make a point next uh, before, I, before I start the next episode. Um, hopefully, I can get sort of to the point where I can't go back again. Um, yeah, may, um, start going back all the way through where I've previously been um, to get back to the areas where I'm pretty sure there are those boulders or whatever they are in the way that were preventing me um, from accessing accessing uh, areas. On the, on the path that I'd already been. So, um, yeah, that was an incredibly long-winded blur. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> I knew you were going to give me a battle. And, of course, you can be an executor right off the bat. How's about that? Lovely. Um, fine. This is the one area where I could potentially have got a battle in. So, um, all right, fine. I don't like running away from battles, so... Let's just deal with you. That wasn't enough to knock it out. Interesting. And of course you have to keep doing silly things like delay me and whatnot. But... Right, 
right, moving on. Okay, I can live with that. Right, yeah, anyway, that thought, yeah, that, that thought was incredibly clumsily relayed, so yeah. Basically, areas with rocks or boulders that were previously blocking piles off that I uh, couldn't get to, I now can, thanks to the pickaxe. So uh, yeah, at some point in time, I'm going to want to backtrack and check those areas out. That was the long and short one that what I wanted to say, so yeah. But I'll do that uh, some other time. I'll maybe try and do that before or before slash during next episode, depending on if I find though, any such areas. Pretty sure there are so any uh, some areas like that, but uh, yeah. As I said, I, as I said at the end of the last video, I want to make sure of that before I you know, waste your time with a whole bunch of backtracking or meaningless backtracking, basically. So yeah. I'll have it in my mind to do that next, uh, before the next episode. Right, that was a fair way back. Yeah, you were, and that was that wasn't even a Pokemon Center. So yeah, so you certainly weren't kidding when you said there was no. Uh, maybe there would have been further further on to the left, obviously from um, James's estate there. But I say, not going to get into that now. <laughs> That's uh, ahead of myself, and uh, Pikachu was um, yeah in desperate need of some help. And I actually saw um, a far fetched there on the ground uh, anyway, so I need to uh, yeah probably going to get into some battles there. N not that I'm worried about a far fetched, frankly, uh, with as Pikachu, but um, yeah he was pretty weak. Just in case you had you know um, yeah just in case something um, unexpected happened where Pikachu uh, ended up fainting, yeah let's let's avoid some a situation like that. Level 51 for Pikachu. Pikachu is coming along nicely. Nope. <laughs> Surprised I haven't done more of that, actually. Finding dead ends. Right, I think we're somewhat back to where we were. There's the Jigglypuff. Oh, Grandpa can never get through again as well, never mind. Well, I must, it's, it's nice enough here that I don't actually have to... Uh, yeah, go through lots of areas, you know, lots of different areas here. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's not that. Yeah. It's not. A, it's not a that complicated a path to get out of here. Thankfully. Right, so that's Grandpa Canyon out of the way. There's the uh, hospital. There's James's uh, mansion. And now we can move on. So yay! There's a far fetched up there, and I guess we will go chat with him. And I guess we'll uh, continue this on, even though I'm, I'm probably about to get, um... I'll probably have my Pokeballs stolen at some point here. Farfetch keeps running away and we'll eventually meet his trainer, who I imagine will probably nick our Pokemon. Okay. Can I encounter battles in this area, or what? Okay, I don't want to go that way. Okay, we're just playing uh, hide, uh, just playing hide and go seek here, really, aren't we? Except we're not really hiding. Oh, there's the uh, there's a trainer. Yep, who's um, yep, who's giving me a bag of rocks, I presume. Uh, that, that's a nice touch. I actually haven't got any Pokemon on my uh, on my menu. <laughs> Nice, okay. Well, we're going to have to track him down then, aren't we? In fact, presumably I cannot get any battles in here now. Or I'm going to be I'm going to be in big trouble. Well, there you are, anyway. I'm sorry, but I had to see your Pokemon. Like crap you did. My Farfetch is just too weak to battle. It's the only way we can get by. Take your Pokemon back. Now, have I got them all? What do you mean you want to teach me a lesson? You want to battle me? My Farfetch is too weak. It will lose for sure. Yes, it will. Now, Farfetch actually did a fine job, I think, until maybe I think Psyduck came in. Then it got really cocky and thought level 40 as well. It got really cocky and thought the Psyduck was the Misty Psyduck was going to be absolutely nothing, and then Misty Psyduck absolutely creamed it, which was just hilarious. But uh, yeah, he actually did, he was actually doing pretty well, Farfetch. But uh, yeah, still, still, even a level 40, no match for a level 51 Pikachu. Yeah, I'm not losing this fight. <laughs> you deserve to be taught a lesson. Like, well, I, I missed that, but he said something about I never saw Farfetch attack like, attack as good as that or, or something. Farfetch a lot stronger than I thought. Yeah, he got knocked out in one hit and didn't get to do anything. Yeah, a lot stronger than you thought. I didn't know I had all those attacks. From now on, I'm going to use it to battle. Now I don't have to steal anymore. 
helping me re realize far-fetched true power, getting one hit KO'd. Please take this. A stick. Really? What, pray tell, does that do? To be re held by a far-fetched. It raises far-fetched critical hit ratio. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's actually possible to capture a far-fetched in this game. Um, but I won't be, since uh, Ash did never caught one. So, um, yeah, that stick is going to be effectively about as, use as useful as a stick. <laughs> okay, video telephone in the uh, middle of nowhere. And yes, this is going to be calling Professor Oak here. So, um, yeah, here we go. Who news is good news? At least we let me know how things are going now. And then, and I presume you're about to tell me that Gary has collected 30 Pokemon. Um, having previously told me that he collected, he's already caught 45 Pokemon in uh, the Bill's Lighthouse episode. New Pokedex upgrade. Details and all the latest Pokemon discoveries. Yep, I'll have to take the upgrade. Thank you. No, oh, okay, you're not going to tell me about Gary. Oh, well, that was that, is that a different episode? Am I getting ahead of myself? Or has uh, that actually happened already? That's actually happened already, isn't it? I'm way, way... That was like in the... Around about the, maybe the Butterfree episode or something. I, I can't remember exactly when, but um, yeah. No, that was way, way... That was ages ago. That was... Yeah, no, we've long passed that, aren't we? Dear me. Oh, well, okay. Did that happen just now? Or was it bound to happen there? I think it was bound to happen about there, because this is the Togepi. This is having got through the, uh, beating the Farfetch. I'm not going to give Togepi a nickname. Misty's pretty much going to come along and uh, take it in any way, yep. Yep, are we going to have to battle? Are we going to have to battle? Or are Team Rocket going to... Uh, are we Team Rocket going to show up? Oh, I'm just going to get battle Misty straight off. Okay, cool. Anyway, we're into a really nice episode. Who gets to keep Togepi? I really like this episode. Wow, you have a, a full... Compliment of Pokemon. Are these going to be? Are these going to stay true to you? They look like they are. Horsey, which you acquired in Tentacle and Tentacruel. Nice. So I'm expecting you'll have a. Um, what will you have? A Star You, a Star Me, Goldeen, and a Sa and Psyduck. Is that what, you, is that what I was expect, expecting to happen? There's Star You. Well, this time Pikachu seems absolutely fine battling you, which I'm slightly surprised about. But I'm not going not gonna to complain. If all you've got is water Pokemon, Pikachu is going to absolutely cream them. But yeah, slightly surprised Pikachu's actually battling here. Yep, there's Goldie. Just uh, Thunderbolt, rinse, repeat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm expecting that. Still expecting a star me and your and your side, of course. There we go. I feel absolutely awful knocking out this Psyduck. <laughs> Psyduck is one of the one of the best Pokemon I've, I've for me in the entire entire anime. I absolutely love I absolutely love Misty Psyduck. I'm I'm. Apologies, sincere apologies there, Psyduck. I don't think I had too much of a choice, but uh, yeah. You are awesome. I love you. And there is your Starmie. And good. I mean, I expected to be quicker than it. Uh, ten levels above, and thankfully that's worked out as it was. Well, that's, yeah, that's worked out. And I got a critical hit anyway as well, so nice. There we are. Misty defeated. And Bulbasaur got a level up as well. Nice. And I could have done with some better stats boosts than that. But I'll tell you why, out of the goodness of my heart, I'll let you keep Togepi anyway. And I imagine the game is actually probably not going to give me much of a choice, but yeah. <laughs> Let's just a battle with Misty. That's, uh, I wonder if Team Rocket are going to uh, actually appear and we're going to battle with them as well. And indeed Meowth, but um, doesn't look like it. Yeah, and uh, okay, fine. There you go, Misty. Have your Togepi. And wow, that's another episode done. And I got caught by this kid, this 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 guy, who I presume has a rhyme horn. This is who I think it is. Yeah. Wow, we are whizzing through the anime again after sort of a couple of episodes where it got kind of a bit bogged down with like mass mass trainers, or just you know one after the other. But um. Yeah, we're gonna we're whizzing through now. We've already got through four episodes, I think. 
of the anime again this this time around. And we're not even we've only just gone 20 minutes, and we're now into the fifth one. So yeah, this is uh, Bulbasaur's mysterious goal. And the episode started off. Yeah, the episode started off. I should have had Bulbasaur out of that fight technically, I suppose. But oh well. I say I'm not I'm not sticking to the sticking to the anime that rigidly to the point where I'm using specific Pokemon. You know, <laughs> well, specific times, or most of the time, anyway, at least. So, you know, the nuances of that are just, you know, half the time I wouldn't know anyway. That one I do know because the episode starts off like that. It's obviously Bulbasaur's kind of, uh, you know, episode as well. So, yeah, Bulbasaur and Rhyhorn had a had a had a battle at the beginning, which sort of I think ended in a draw. Um, it's a friendly battle, but um, yeah, we're into Bulbasaur's mysterious gone. And uh, yeah, this was when Bulbasaur was about to evolve, but stopped himself. Nice. Uh... I assume then, at some point in time, there's going to be a Venusaur around. A, a, yeah, a garden around here with a whole bunch of Bulbasaur that are about to form a Tribesaur and a Venusaur. First, of course, we need to go to Pokemon Center and have, presumably, Nurse Joy tell us all about this Evolver Armor, as Ash called it, I think. <laughs> Don't have to worry about Bulbasaur at all. It isn't sick. It's just getting ready to evolve. Well, I will heal while I'm here. Why not? I think I'm also going to deposit a, a few things as well while I'm here. I've got a few mean, uh, pretty useless items from my point of view, so I'm actually going to deposit them just to free up some uh, additional space in my pack. So uh, that's the one I want. Storage, deposit. Uh, yeah, let's deposit the stick. Why the hell not? We'll deposit that and that and that and that, I guess, and that. I'll keep the nugget. I'll sell that some point in time. I'll get rid of the big mushroom for the moment as well, and the leaf stone. I'm not going to use that to involve anybody. I think that's all. I think the rest I shall keep for the time being. Oh, black belt. Uh, uh, I doubt I'll, doubt I'll use that, but I'll keep it for the moment. I think I'm okay with everything else, so yeah, we'll, just, uh, we'll store those and then we'll uh, that'll be that. Right, let's go find this garden off the beaten path. This looks... well, that's not really off the beaten path very much, is it? But uh, this looks... Uh, this looks quite uh, promising. <laughs> A whole bunch of bobbles. Are we actually going to get them to watch them evolve into Ivysaur? That would be awesome. I'll chat with all of them, just in case any one of them has something interesting to say. And there is the Venusaur. Can we talk to you from this side? Yes, we can. Oh, now I might not be able to see what's going on. That might have been a bad idea. Looks like Venusaur summoned the Bulbasaur for them to evolve. Oh no, the pillar screen's going to pan down. Okay, it's just a, it's a, it's a flash, but uh, yeah, nice. All the Bulbasaur evolved. Not mine, though. Venusaur seems outraged your Bulbasaur hasn't evolved. Bulbasaur, you're angry. It's my friend. The reason you're so mad is because it doesn't want to evolve. If it doesn't want to evolve yet, I don't think you should have the right to force it to. It has the right to decide when it wants to evolve. And Venusaur understa- Ooh! Probably yes. Now, again, this is one of those ones that I would perhaps tend- Oh, no! Really? I think I'm going to get rid of Tackle. I know it doesn't leave him with a lot of options, but... I don't want to get rid of Razor Leaf, Giga Drain, or Toxic. I feel like those are really nice moves to have. And I just I don't think Tackle... Yeah, I'm not going to have three Grass moves here, but I am going to give... I am going to give Bulbasaur Solar Beam, because I do feel like it's one of those ones, again, that I don't tend to like very much, because it's a, a two-attack two uh, move. So, well, if I get to it, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, two-turn move that blasts foam and absorbs energy on the second turn. However, it is 100% it is, it is accuracy, so it will always land. 
Um, I don't, I, solar Beam tends to be one of the ones that I like even less so than perhaps something like Hyper Beam, where Hyper Beam, where you would use it and it would it would work that go. Then the Pokemon has to rest. But of course, if it's uh, if it's likely to take the Pokemon out, then you don't have to worry about it Rick and resting or recovering. Or indeed, you'd maybe have to switch out another Pokemon. But unfortunately, with Solar Beam, you have to wait a turn for it to charge up. So it's not my favourite the favourite sort of one. But I feel like it could actually be really useful. Tackle probably not so much, but. And I know I've got three grass attacking moves now, and the only other one I've got is a poison one, which actually doesn't directly do damage, it just poisons them. Um, but um, I feel like, I don't wanna, definitely don't want to get rid of Giga Drain or Razor Leaf, so I feel like, yeah, Tackle's the one to get rid of. But um, yeah, still not my favourite one with, um, uh, with uh, yeah, the Solar Beam, given that it's a, a two-turn attack that, unfortunately, you have to have the second go to power it up you can't uh, yeah it's not like hyper beam where you can do the attack and then even maybe it wouldn't even matter that you wouldn't get you'd have to rest because you've knocked the pokemon out if it was a one you know if it actually knocked them out or indeed you switch pokemon if you're a part of a you know trainer battle or whatever so yeah but unfortunately it's the other way around blast <laughs> that being said i will still yeah i'll still uh, keep um solar beam and yeah we are really whizzing through the episodes my goodness and we're now into Princess versus Princess, and Jessie is going to catch the Lickitung. Or catch her Lickitung. Uh, and that's that, okay. <laughs> oh, so we get to see it at least, but uh, we get to see her do that. But um, yeah, I guess now we're going to have a... Yeah, a contest? Well, Misty takes part, doesn't she? So am I just going to sit and watch Misty do battle with... Uh, oh, there's Misty. With Jesse? Yeah, okay, this is for the doll set. Boring, wheezing and meowth to battle for her. It means I'm nice to Jesse, I'll battle for her. And what does Misty say? I want so bad to win the Princess Festival so I can win the Princess Pokemon doll set, but I don't think my team of water Pokemon is balanced enough. Oh, we're gonna battle for her, okay. So we're gonna battle Jesse. Okay, it's a very special girl, eh? Eh? I suppose I can make such an exception. You may challenge the lead competitor. Okay, so it's just Jesse. Um, we're not battling uh, any of the other. Any, we don't have to battle all the way through the Pokemon content. It's just Jesse. Okay, and well, yeah, I don't think I should have too much problem taking out your uh, uh, team of uh, Arbok, Weezing, Meowth, and Lickitung. Should have uh, fairly decent moves to combat all of them. What? You're going to battle that twerpy girl? Fine, but I won't go easy on you. This is for the Princess Doll set. Wow, Misty getting some screen, a lot of screen time in this episode. You know, she, I gave her a Togepi, and now I'm going to win her a doll set. Yep, Arbok was the first one, was her first one out. Rather annoyingly, <laughs> get the Intimidate. Still should be absolutely fine, particularly if your Pokemon are around about level 40, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm assuming Weezing's next. Pikachu's might even get to level 52. Yep, he's wheezing. Good. Okay, are you all at level 38? Why does wheezing always seem to be just out of range of a one-hit KO all the time? Very annoying. Coughing as well, just during the early game as well. Wheezing just seems to be yeah, I don't have anything that would really do very well against we or, or that's super effective against Weezing because I don't think um, Dig would, would would actually connect. Um, so yeah, never have any never have anything that's super effective. Oh blimey, now so level twenty, gee whiz. <laughs> okay, maybe Pikachu won't evolve if you're going to be that low level. Cause I'm not going to get much experience for that. And look at time, obviously uh, for last, which will also be brick break on. Um, yeah, no, everyone else is, is fine. Obviously, normally we wouldn't normally battle Meowth. I don't know if we're going to battle Lickitung now every time we have a Team Rocket encounter, but um, that would be nice, actually, because I've got a very effective move against Lickitung. Um, provided you don't do anything annoying. You, keep, you like knocking off that bloody um, Lucky Egg of mine, don't you? Really annoyingly. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, wheezing, always a problem. The only thing that didn't, the only thing that didn't go wrong there was being poisoned. <laughs> Which I'm actually amazed didn't happen. 
Oh, Pikachu did just evolve to level... Uh, sorry, not evolve, level up to 52. No, it's not going to evolve. <laughs> you need a Thunderstone for that anyway. And there you go, Misty. Enjoy the doll set. Now, are you going to thank me? Are you going to give me anything in return for that, or what? Oh, you can have... Oh, have one of the dolls. Okay, I received a Pokemon doll. And off you go to the Cerulean City Gym. Congratulations on winning the Princess Festival. Winning prize to come to the nice young lady you were back went for. Yes. And uh, another episode down. We are, as I said, absolutely rattling through them. Moving on. It's only gone for half an hour. Go for another ten minutes or so. Yeah, moving on to the next episode. And then we're on to the perfect per... Sorry, sorry to say perfect hero. This is a nice little uh, Meowth-centric uh, episode. Little kitty preschool. And this, uh, yeah, pr uh, preschool teacher who goes insane. <laughs> or incredibly, gets incredibly, incredibly angry. Let's put it that way. Pokemon trainer can't make it, but I just met with him. And we're going to entertain them uh, in their place. Yes, fine. And you better give me something nice in return, though. I'm looking for one specific kid. I assume that's the one off on his own on the on the top. Yes, all right, fine. I assume that's the one on the on the top right who's completely on his own. And smart of you, very smart of you, not to release uh, Charizard. <laughs> I've already done that. Why are you asking me again? Okay, so we've released Pikachu, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. Not Pidgeotto, though. Yeah, Timmy. This must be Timmy. I presume off on his own in the corner. Yep, only Pokemon you want to meet is Meowth. Oh, you've even got the uh, speech um, Ws for R's in here as well. Nice. Nice touch. Here, whoa. Okay, so now we're off to find a Meowth. Can I get my Pokemon back, please? Or a Team Rocket that's going to come along and make and just, you know, help me out straight away. Because I don't want to leave my Pokemon here. Well, admittedly, I still have got... Actually, before I go too far, I do want to check my... Uh... No, they are all there. Okay, I was slightly worried that I'd left Pikachu, Squirtle and Bobsaw behind there. Which would have left me only Pidgeotto, frankly, since Charizard is uh, next to users at this point in time. Alright, so we're actually going to go Meowth hunting, are we? Well, presumably I don't have to actually capture, Meowth, capture Meowth. I'm after... Or do I... Um, that is the next episode. I've got to go and find a Meowth? Seriously? Have I actually got to capture a Meowth here? Or what? This is interesting. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what I'm supposed to do here. Am I actually supposed to go and find a Meowth? And not just find it, but capture one? Hmm. I don't want to be just mucking about in the grass for no reason. Yeah, you weren't kidding about the Pokemon Center, were you? There's literally none around here at all. I feel like having backtracked this far now that there's clearly clearly I've gone too far back that I shouldn't be this far back something would have happened oh there's a Pokemon Center again I, of course I visited one earlier didn't I and I completely forgot about it yes of course because this was the one Bulbasaur was in when uh, well, we had to take Bulbasaur too and Nurse uh, uh, yeah, Nurse Joy told us there was nothing wrong with it only that it was about to evolve dear me <laughs> completely forgot I uh, visited a Pokemon Center here or well, there was one in the in the rat yeah in, in actually fairly close proximity. What do I need to do here though? This is um this is interesting. I don't quite know whether I'm actually supposed to be finding a meowth here. No, not now.
All right, let's release them again. I don't quite know, though. I'm not going to talk to all them again. I do wonder if I'm supposed to be doing anything here. I'm trying to find... Have I got my Pokemon when I go back to here? I have. See, I don't quite know. It's it, 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 it makes it seem like I should be doing something here, but... Um... There's nothing sort of around here. And if I go any further to the right, uh, to the left, sorry, I'm going to be encroaching on the next episode. So, the only patch of grass I can see... Yeah, I don't want to go there. Oh! Maybe I got ahead too ahead of myself then. Okay, so this is... Okay, so this... Okay, fine. This is actually going to be the Meowth um, thing, which is going to be nice. Yep. Nice. Do I get to take you to Timmy or what? Yes, all right, fine. I'll take the uh, I'll take the the meowth. Have I actually got it in my party? No. Okay, so there's the difference between capturing it and uh, just carrying it <laughs> or taking it uh, to Timmy. I don't know. Okay, fine. I'm relieved we got that. I'm relieved we got that sorted. Uh. Yeah, all right. I was going to say no there, but I'm slightly, I'm slightly worried about what would happen if I said no. So uh, yeah, all right, fine. I will release the meowth into Timmy's care. And uh, what does this uh, Larry kid have to say anymore? Say now? Yeah, I guess Timmy was telling the truth after all. Okay, I need to say the same thing. Fine. Okay, I don't need to release my Pokemon anymore. Are you happy with Timmy? Hopefully you are. Okay. Fine. Oh, oh, and I, oh, and I got to get something for, 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 for helping Timmy. Nice. Nice, thank you. I know it's only one of those, but that's a really nice, really nice uh, gift uh, to give me. So, uh, yay. Thank you very much for the rare candy. Yeah, so I know it's only one, but yeah, that's still nice. That's, that's very nice. Uh, all right, fine. I guess we'll have a quick check of the police station. And there's no one here. Okay. Well, we'll forget about that for the moment. Uh, okay, then. I think I will probably call that there, given how given how many episodes I got through uh, the anime. We're coming up to about 40 minutes or so anyway, and I don't want to perhaps start another one. Who, I mean, who knows? It might be able to get through, it, get through it quite quickly. But by my count, I've got through seven episodes there of the Pokemon anime in one in one uh, episode of this Let's Play in under 40 minutes, so that's uh, that's uh, fairly amazing. But uh, yeah, clearly, as I said, the, the, the pace is, is picking up, and uh, and um, yeah, well, that's, 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 no, that's no bad thing at all. Um, what I probably will do, as I say, is, is, is maybe go back to the, sort of the areas early on now, uh, before the next video, before I sort of you know, kick off the next video, and just um, see whether there's anything anything there that I can actually, or any new areas I can get to, any sort of hidden items and such like that that I can pick up. If so, I'll, I'll, I'll show those off. If not, then, uh, yeah, I'll simply state the fact that I did it and uh, that I had nothing to, nothing to find. But, uh, yeah, I'll do that probably off camera or at least in drip in bits so you don't have to watch me go watch me trawl all the way back through Kanto because that would be I've done that once before and it was a bit of a disaster because I couldn't actually do anything else so yeah I won't sit and let you go and sit and watch that again I'll cut to the relevant bits but uh, yeah I'll try and do that I'll make sure I do that before before we kick off uh, the next episode and yeah maybe I'll have something to show off at the beginning of the next episode um, before we uh, move on to the next anime episode which will be um, the case of the canine caper I think it is um, which is what the police station, which I thought the police station was going to be. Maybe that will come into play in a moment. Um, but uh, yeah, I will leave it there. Seven episodes of the, of the Pokemon anime done in, in this episode. Yeah, whizzing, starting to whiz back through again. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it there. Hope to see you next time. But until then, cheerio.